working with artists to introduce their work to people and to try to show it off to best advantage. Um, but also behind every great artist, there's sometimes a great collector or collectors, <laughs> um, as someone almost once said. Uh, so, very privileged to have a couple of collectors here tonight, Penold and, Ro um, and Ronald. <laughs> Peggy, Peggy and Ronald. I'm Penel. Peggy, Peggy and Ronald Jug um, from the Jug Foundation. Uh, and they have a collection in Suffolk um, featuring quite a few artists, including Roger Atkin, Conrad Atkinson, uh, Terry Bond, Karen Densham, which is the reason for them being here. They're patrons of emerging and recognised artists. Um, Eduardo Palazzi, Grayson Perry, Bob and Roberta Smith, Jessica Vorsanger, and Richard Wentworth. And um, they very kindly agreed to loan us some of their collection to show later on in the garden room. So we'll have a small selection of that from the 17. Um, and they've kindly agreed to launch the exhibition. So thank, thank you, Carlos. Thank, thank, thank you very much. It's uh, great to see you all here this evening. And uh, the last time I did this, I, uh, I had a nasty turn. Uh, you know, one of those things you put your paper on? You mean the lectern, Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, one of those, uh, yeah, uh, that's what I was saying. Um, your pill, see? Okay. Um, anyway, I'm Ronald. And I'm Peggy. Uh, and we, we are, are the Jaguar Foundation. Foundation. <laughs> the American painter that I used to know well, Ed Reinhardt, God rest his soul, defined sculpture as something that you bump into when you're backing up to look at a painting. <laughs> well, that's not a notion that I take kindly to, in fact it's downright offensive, but I can testify that there is some truth in it. As I was once hanging a piece of work in a group show and I reversed back into another artist's stone carving, shattering in, it into many pieces, for which I've never been forgiven, and this is a true story by the way. I mentioned that, although it might be a bit late, as uh, there are a number of uh, small, fragile pieces scattered around the room, so uh, you just take, uh, take care of that. And uh, in the news recently, the Chapman brothers were uh, known to speak about the position of uh, children in relation to art galleries, so I just say, watch those kids, please. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we are collectors of international contemporary art of the highest quality all of which have been donated by the artists. <laughs> you know what they say, it's not what you know, it's who you know in our business. We are big fish in a big, big pond. We are not little fish in a little tank. In Karen Denshaw's lovely piece of work called Greenhouse Effect, although the two fish have been named after us. Nice touch, Karen. <laughs> I'd like that piece of work for the collection, Ronald. You'll have to do some work on that. I'll see what I can do, Peg. Our collection, which includes work by Eduardo Pellazzi, Roger Acklin, Richard Wentworth, Grayson Perry, and Bob Bird Smith, amongst others, will be exhibited here in four weeks' time, which we hope you'll be back for. Now, uh... Karen is someone that the Jug Foundation have admired for many, many years. I was laying in the bath just the other day, sucking on a large Cuban. My mind drifted back to our first encounter way back in 1981. Long before it became fashionable for artists to adopt all their egos, as part of a degree show in Wolverhampton, is that in Worcestershire? It's in the West. Down there. Up there. Uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, Karen wrote a thesis about a fictitious Australian artist called Eden Charm. Uh, I think that's an anagram. Maybe. Who, in a series of very funny photographs, parodies some of the better known artworks of 1960s and 70s conceptual art. There was no real attempt to conceal her identity in these photographs, although, although she handed up in a peroxide blonde wig. So much so that only a fool or Karen's art history tutor could fail to recognize her. But just in case, as a postscript, inside the back cover, she included a genuine letter from Barry Humphreys, Australian cultural attaché, Celeste Patterson. You know the guy with the buck teeth that dribbles a lot? Congratulating Karen on being, and I quote, a bright little Sheila sticking up at me in Wolverhampton. <laughs> 
Karen continues to invest her work with the same invention and wit and combination of innocence and experience. And we would like to congratulate her on a fantastic exhibition. Where is she, by the way? Is she stuck in a jar? I think she has nasty turn. Anyway, I would like to congratulate the Minneries curator, Kabus Clayton! Yeah! Well, let's hear it Kabus! Thank <laughs> you. 